empty cup Just crack a smile and fill it up Fill it up Welcome to After the Final Pour, brought to you by The Malting Hour. I am one of your hosts, Tony Golick, joined always with... Brandon Winninger. And we are coming to you from the south parking lot at Soldier Field as we are about to go see the last night of Metallica. Brandon, thank you very much. You're welcome. Yeah, we saw the first night. Uh, we got to we got there in time to see most of the Metallica or, uh, Pantera show and all of the Metallica show minus the last song. We saw some of it as we were running out the door to get, get to our car. <laughs> to get home in 25 minutes instead of an hour and 20. Yeah, it was, it, was, it was a perfect ending to a good night. I don't care what Sebastian says, we're doing that again tonight. Yeah. <laughs> You're running out. Uh, but yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, it's my first time seeing Metallica. It was super cool, and now it's my second time. So I feel like I'm a uh, you know, band the caliber of Metallica. It's like, if I see them once, what's the chance I'm going to see them twice? And I get to see them twice in one weekend. So it's pretty yeah, good. That's, yeah, that's awesome. Um, yeah, and I've told people about the show, and they were a lot of people are like, oh, they're doing two shows? I'm like, fuck yeah, man. Um, and it's a completely different set tonight, so excited to see what they play. Um, we were lucky enough to get some pretty sweet seats. Yes. Um, and I guess tonight we got some pretty sweet seats again, and uh, excited to see what happens. Absolutely. And so we thought, what better time or way to do an After the Final Four? We had a couple beers already. We had uh, two women, lager from... New Glarus. And then we had the cold snacks from... Mont- Montucky? Yeah, you have the can in your hand there. Yeah. yeah. So this is a perfect After the Final Four. We are drinking... Juice Juice from Rusty Bull Brewing Company, and they're from where, Brandon? Oh, uh, uh, North Charleston, South Carolina. Your wife was very nice uh, and brought this back for you. Yeah, she was in uh, South Carolina um, just before Hurricane Debbie hit. And, God damn it, Debbie. Uh, yeah, so they were there. They announced the hurricane on Sunday, and she busted out on um, uh, Monday. Absolutely. So I'm going to read a little bit about this beer. It's called Juice Juice. The Rusty Bull Hazy IPA is built for poolside charades and cow tipping. This beer takes you back to childhood. What? Is that childhood? Does that say childhood? Charades and cow tipping. What does that say? Oh, childhood. What? Okay, asking your mother for a juice juice. juice. Uh, You'll be surprised to know that nothing from its... Beer came from a bad... What? I can't read. I need glasses. <laughs> Nothing in the beer came from a box with notes of grapefruit, pineapple, and citrus. This juicy, tangy, mouth-watering IPA leaves nothing to be something. Desired. Uh, desired. <laughs> it is 50 IBUs. It is an IPA. And it is uh, 6.7% <laughs> ABV. Let's give it a try here. <laughs> the other person we're with just he, he has no idea we're what we're doing. We record. Right, I'm gonna take a sip. Here. Did you already sip it? I did. Ooh, it smells good. Yeah, it's a it's a fantastic beer. I like it. Ooh, yeah, that's it is very good. juicy. That is real. Damn, that's a good hazy IPA. The OG was 1.068 and FG 1.017. All right, nice. Like IPA. They give a lot of information on that. I like that. Yeah, it's t- dude. It smells like orange juice. Yeah, this is good. Uh, it's brewed with Citra, El Dorado, and Summit hops. That I could read. Yeah. I got that going for me. Um, and yeah, I, I'm definitely, I'm getting the Citra. Yeah. Um, Summit, I can't remember the last time I had a Summit, a beer with Summit no. hops in it. I brewed a beer. I brewed a pale ale with Summit. I do like Summit hops. I'm yeah. trying to remember what the characteristics are. I think Summit might be grapefruit. Grapefruit characteristics. Could be. Uh, El Dorado, I think, tastes like the desert. Sand. Yeah. Or like you bit into a cactus and it yes. just got the thorn in your tongue. That's what that tastes like. Um, yeah, I mean, overall, like, really well done beer. Um, it, it, it's got... I don't I don't know if I, this is reminiscent of, like, me asking for a juice when I was a kid, but it's definitely... It's super, super juicy. And um, unfortunately, we, we can't see, like... Uh, we can't get, like, a color description or anything because we're drinking it out of a can. It, I saw some of it spill out when you were oh, yeah. pouring it into your can. <laughs> uh, it definitely is, like... It looks... It's orange. It's like a hazy orange. Yeah. It's not like super hazy. You can still, it's like translucent. You can still kind of see through it. Excuse me, but it's definitely like an orange, uh, an orange beer, which I like. I feel like this is this is definitely nailing the hazy IPA in the right way of it being slightly bitter, not too sweet, like 
remember we, we've talked about it on other episodes of like you know when you have an hazy, hazy IPA and you burp. Oh yeah. And you get like that good beer yep. flavor. That's what I'm I'm getting from this. That guy's got bourbon. People are walking around with bourbon here in the parking lot. Slightly jealous, but also happy I'm not drinking bourbon because. I've got work tomorrow. Yeah. What are these assholes doing? What are you guys doing with your lives that you can just drink bourbon on a Sunday night like that? What are we talking about? We've done. I mean, if they're only full. drinking bourbon on a Sunday night, okay, maybe, but all right. So, like, we uh, this is our first time. Well, for these two shows, we came here and last time we parked in a different lot. We didn't have enough time to pregame. so we kind of planned ahead to come to a lot so we can buy, uh, bring a couple beers, drink in the lot. We had some sandwiches. We had some sandwiches, and then you can uh, not spend as much money when you go in to see the show. Fifteen dollar Coors Light, baby. I did have a Daisy Cutter from Half Acre on Friday, which was tasty. But I like the idea of not having to buy multiple of yeah, those. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't want to buy too many beers. I just want to enjoy the show. But, uh, but yeah, man. Overall, like I just I've been sipping on it as we were talking here. It's really good. Yeah. Like it's 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 actually like a refreshing hazy IPA. It's not thick. It's not weighing me down or anything. Like I this feel, is good. Yeah, and I feel like this is good weather for it. Like mm-hmm. Right now, I mean, we're sitting in a car, obviously, but um, it's right now. It says it's 82 degrees, but I think that's just with the sun blasting. It's out. more like probably like in the upper 70s. Yeah, um, but we got a, a nice gentle breeze. Uh, when once we get into the old soldiers' field, uh, I think we'll have. Uh, we're going to be in some shade, and as soon as the sun goes down, I know the chill is going to come in a little bit. But uh, even then, like we saw the show Friday, it wasn't that bad. Um, I'm looking forward to this next show, and I- I'm glad we're kind of capping uh, this tailgating. Probably, I might not. I might have one more. <laughs> well, we need, we need a walking beer. Yeah, I gotta have the uh, mon- I have one more on Taki for the yeah, road. Have for, a have a hours. walking beer. That's the way to do it. Um, but yeah, man. Uh, thanks again, and thank you, Becca, for getting this beer for us. Uh, very kind of you. So, how many uh, juice right. boxes would you give this beer? Four point three juice boxes. Ooh. Like I'm going up high with that, man. This is like it's it's a good. T- I mean, also I'm feeling very generous right now too because we're in a good mood and. You know, we're going to see Metallica again. But I I do stand behind the 4.3. If I was going to go, like, maybe a little more realistic, 4.1. But it's a really good hazy IPA that I can have. Because we split a 16-ounce can here. I can drink a whole 16-ounce can and another. Yeah. And still not feel like, oh, I'm weighed down by, like, a heavy hazy or just a heavy IPA. Agreed, 100%. And I, I my number was going to be 425. So we're, like, right in the same wheelhouse. It's so. crazy that we host a show together and we still and we come up almost with the same... You know? Well, it's because we we like a lot of the same shit, so I think it kind of yeah. worked out. Yeah, most of the time. Kind of that guy's fucking grilling over there too, son of a bitch. Yeah, I was almost bought a grill. I uh, almost bought a grill. We need jealous. to make friends with people who are. Grilling. I know, right? We saw people throw out sausages. Like we would have taken those. I can't take, yeah, we got here just a little too late. Uh, excuse me, there, I'm so sorry. There was no sausage party left. Once uh, we, got here. we love sausage parties. Yeah, we do. Oh yeah. All right, Brandon. I think that's it. Let's go watch Metallica. Love you, buddy. Love you too, man. We'll see everybody next week. This has been The Malting Hour. Be sure to follow us on all social media by searching The Malting Hour and at themaltinghour.com. You can also follow us individually on social media. Brandon can be found on Instagram as bmdub81, on Twitter, bdub81, and on untapped as bdubdrinksbeer. Tony can be found on Instagram and untapped under Ace of Help Chicago, on Twitter, the Ace of Help Chicago. Clark can be found as Clarkowski on all three. Dan can be found on Instagram as hip underscore underscore hops and hip hops on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe, like, and rate the show on your preferred podcast listening platform. Until next time, cheers from all of us at the Malting Hour.